Welcome back friends, myself JP. Today we are going to see about a modding tutorial of Spider-Man PC Remastered game. The steps are very simple if you followed the video carefully. Come on guys, let's get into this video. Ok guys, before we are going to mod game, we need these tools, you can see it as the requirement tools. So the first one is the SMPC tool. This is a tool where we can extract textures from and models from the game files. Second one is the raw text. Raw text is the application where we can extract images from the texture file. With the help of these two tools, NVIDIA as well as the paint.net, we can edit those images. And finally, with the help of HX editor, we can edit the values of the files. I think you guys are a little bit confusing now. I will explain clearly in this video. So first open the SMPC tool. Just open the application. And then go to file, select asset archive folder. You need to select the game installation folder. So I installed my game in the H directory. So stream games, Marvel Spider-Man remaster. So then open the asset archive folder. So then click save. It will pop up a message that asset archive successfully set. Once you click OK, it will pop up another warning message. Which says we need to convert asset archives for this tool to use mods properly. So just press OK, then click tools, convert asset archives. It will take so much time to convert these files. One eternity later. So that's it guys. All the assets are converted successfully. I'm just zooming it. Okay, you can see these types of names. These are the game files where all the textures, models, cinematic, etc. etc. are stored inside. We are going to extract a particular texture, which means I am going to mod this. So this is an antioxidant where I'm going to mod by changing the color yellow to some different one. Okay, so just expand G00S001. If you press double click, it will show many subcategories. Under these subcategories, you will expand the characters. Inside the characters, you can go to heroes and these are the default and advanced skins for the Spider-Man. You just search for Antioch and then expand, click the textures. So these are the textures file for the specific suit. I am going to edit the emissive content, which means the glowing yellow area. So which is that the anti of emissive underscore C. If you clearly notify these names, all the files are ended with some alphabetic characters C, G, N, etc. So as of now, the underscore C, which is that having the colorful texture files. So just right click the file and you can see these options extract asset, replace asset and asset information. So if you click the asset information, you can see what is asset information. So as of now, I'm going to extract the asset right click click extract asset then i am just creating a new folder in the same name and the suit then click save so asset extracted successfully just, close the just go to your game installation directory then asset archive then antioch suit and you can see the dot texture file which is a file we extracted from the game now we are going to extract images from the texture file. For this we need raw text tool. Open the raw text application and then change the offset value to 0x0080. Then choose PC7 option. That's it. You need to drag and drop the texture file into your raw text application. Once you drag and drop, it will automatically create a DDS file in the same folder where you place the texture file. So that's it. The use of raw texture has been completed. You can close this application. With the help of paint or NVIDIA tool, you can open the application. So I'm using the paint.net to open this. So this is a file. I'm extracting the images. File, save as, then PNG. Click save. Okay. That's it guys, I extracted images from the DDS file. Now we are going to edit the color of this file. You can use any application, so I am using Photoshop. 
okay just drag and drop it i am going to change the color to something different maybe we can choose green color okay so i am going with this green that's it so i'm just click merge visible so that's it i am clicking file save so use of photoshop is also completed this is our modified image file so go to your nvidia texture tool exporter just open it and drag and drop the modified png file into it then on the left side you can see many options on the last option you, can, you will see ktx tool that status super compression so this option you need to disable this option and enable export pre multiplied alpha just click it and then save as so then go to your same directory and your suit i am just replacing this with a dds so that's it everything is replaced so now you can see this dds file as the new updated texture into green color here is the main part you need to follow the steps carefully so that you can install your mods inside the game open the hx editor or x editor so first i am opening the dot texture file just you can drag and drop that's it then you can drag and drop the modified dds file so that's it so the first one is the original dot texture file the second one is the modified extracted texture file so go to your original file and then you can select the first row until the value 70 end of 70 you can see you can see 00000070 you just select all this and click control c then go back to your modified dds file then select the values until 94 so this is a 90 91 92 93 and 94 then click paste as control v so that's it what are the more things you modified it will show in the red color then here is the main part you just scroll the original dot texture file and then go to the end in the end you can see this different numbers double zero zero five double five b zero you need to search for these numbers in the dds file too you can go loss yeah this is the number so you need to remove what are the lines remaining after the specific number so I don't need these numbers and just remove it. So which means I am just keeping the values until triple zero triple five b zero. So the what are the lines remaining it? I am just deleting it. Then click save. That's it. There is HX editor also done. You can close this. We are going to rename the texture file into something like a backup or something because if you need to revert back, you only need to use this. So I'm just renaming the DDS file to dot texture then click yes make sure your texture files are having the same size as like the original one so now we are going to import this texture into the game file so just go back to your tool then click on the emissive c which is the texture you extracted right click and click replace asset then choose the texture which is the this is the one which is modified then click open asset replaced so once asset replaced, you need to extract the mod. Save, then you can choose the title. I am just giving as a green and the oak soup. So then create mod. So it will ask where to save the mod. I am just giving green soup. That's it. Successfully created Spider-Man mod. That's it guys. Now you need to install the modified mod. Click install mod, then green suit open and then install mod. it will also take some time to install this mod as for now one eternity later so once your mod successfully installed you will get the success message click ok you can close all the windows so now you will open the game okay to get the glow option make sure you enable this blue and lens flare option so click the play button minus gtx 1050 ti not a recommended one anyhow the game runs smooth i'm skipping the intro videos okay 
ओके आई एम जस्ट ओपनिंग ऑन लोड से cool so now you guys seeing this texture as a green so previously it will be yellow by the default so after you install the mods correctly you will get the green color So that's it guys, we successfully modded Spider-Man game. I hope this video will be helpful to you a lot guys. Stay tuned for the next update. Thank you guys, see you soon. Signing off, JP.